Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm going to present uh, a work I did with Alessandro Zocca from Caltech and uh, uh, Bers Bart from CWI, and I'm going to focus on emergent failures in power grids. So in my, in my work, I, I, I want to understand the connection between the uh, increased amount of renewable energy, which is the topic of this workshop, and their effect on uh, failures of network components, in particular transmission lines. Uh, uh, usually in the classic network literature, we have a, a classical model for failures and cascading failures, which is a, as follows. We have an uh, external event that leads to the direct failure of some network component, here a transmission line. And in the presence of, of a lot of renewable energy, this model may not be the most uh, uh, adequate. For this reason, we focus on a uh, fundamentally different model, the one of emergent cascades where a failure happens because of the uh, nodal fluctuations <coughs> in re renewable energy, which can be summed up in very complex ways by network topologies and power flow <coughs> physics and give rise to unexpected failures. Uh, the main questions we would like to answer with this framework is which lines are the most vulnerable to these noisy inputs? And then if these, if these failures happen, how do they happen, most likely. And finally, what's the main difference between the two models, the classical and this uh, uh, emergent model? We're going to uh, answer these questions using large vision <coughs> th theory. <coughs> we're going to consider a setting when line failures are rare events. And we're going to use this theory to approximate the probabilities of such rare events. And uh, in particular, we're going to focus on the exponential decays of such rare events probabilities. Uh, uh, it turns out that the key quantity to uh, uh, understand such rare events are uh, the decay rate, which are function of explicit function that includes a lot of the network components, including the topology, the, co the weather correlation. And uh, they, can they can be computed explicitly. And to give you a flavor of what a theory can give, uh, we can use such approximation to compute <coughs> a ranking of tra transmission line based on their likelihood to fail. For instance, here on the left hand side, we have a snapshot of a German transmission grid with the uh, uh, true failure probabilities uh, portrayed in this heat map from yellow to red. And on the right hand side, we have the predicted line failures from this large deviation approach uh, in red. And the conclusion is that they provide an accurate uh, uh, analytic uh, uh, indicator of system vulnerabilities. Uh, if you uh, like to know the full story behind this and the answer to their questions, I have my poster just in the other room. Thank you. Okay, so let's thank all our uh, speakers for, for this morning session again.